Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Bite. I'm Corey Nockheiner. Today I warn you about Office documents with passwords. In a blog post recently, an organization called SysInfo warned of a spam campaign where cybercriminals were sending emails that contained documents. And these documents, if you actually opened them, had macros, which of course if you enabled uh, would leverage scripting to actually download and install malware on your computer. Now as you probably know from previous videos, this is a pretty common uh, uh, method of trying to get users to install malware. However, in this blog post, there was one additional trick. These documents were password protected, and of course, the password was within the email. Now, why is this important? Well, there's a lot of ways to catch malicious documents with different sorts of anti-malware uh, security controls. The most common way that antivirus vendors have been doing this for the longest time is simply signature-based approaches. Once you've seen a malicious file before, you write a signature to catch it. The problem the problem is, documents like these are often customized per victim. They change so regularly that if you're waiting for a pattern to find these threats, it's going to be far too late. So a more common method today is using some sort of behavioral recognition. Basically, there's products out there like WatchGuard's own APT blocker that will actually open a document and look at what's actually in the document. Does the document have macros enabled? Does the document have any sort of script that calls to an IP or domain or other behaviors? behaviors like that. And this method of catching things with behaviors is very effective at catching new threats. However, the whole point of this password on an Office document is to evade this sort of advanced malware sandbox. Basically, when you open a password protected document, you're not actually able to see any of the contents of that document. It's encrypted until you actually enter the password. So to any automated sandbox, these sort of password documents will appear benign until you actually entered the password and see the real document. So long story short, these password office files are a good way for these bad guys to evade sandbox technology. Now the reason I bring up this blog post is here at WatchGuard we've also seen some users get these sort of emails with these password protected documents. Do you know the email we get is a little more like spear phishing, it's somewhat customized to the victim. I wouldn't say that the attacker out there is actually targeting single individuals, rather they seem to have some automation that will at least fill in a user's names and, and are targeting maybe certain departments at many organizations. In either case this email might look like like it's more targeted towards some of your users. Now, of course, the big giveaway here is this type of email will have a document in it. And if you open that document, it will ask you for a password, which will be within the body of the email. In our malware testing environment, we actually went ahead and let this document do its thing. If you give it the password, it's going to become a macro enabled document. And if you don't have macros enabled by default, which most people don't, you'll actually have to enable the macro before this, this actual malicious document can take action. If you do enable that malicious macro, in our case, this went to a IP address to download the real executable malware, which it placed in a temp directory and ran. We did some analysis of this and it turned out to be a variant of ransomware. Anyways, I wanted to share this since this particular email malware campaign seems to be picking up. Really, the best way to defend against this right now is to warn your users about emails that have office documents with passwords. You should train your users that if they get any external email, that contains an office attachment that asks for a password, they should totally avoid it. Now, there are legitimate reasons to actually password protect uh, office documents. For instance, if you're sharing sensitive documents, usually internally. Even if your users do get a office document with a password internally from someone they know, they should also still follow up with the person to see if they really sent that document and if it really is some sort of confidential information. Because they should just be aware that bad guys are trying to spread threats in these office documents that ask for a password. In any case, this is a growing threat and it was interesting for us to look at a real sample. Make sure to tell your users to try to avoid password protected office documents unless they can validate that they're legitimate. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.